Great Combat. It is Miguel here. And today we are going to be reading some story stuff here in Arknights. Doing some fun collab here in uh, <laughs> Rainbow Six Siege. So, curious reception room. Let's, uh, let's see what it's about, yo. So they are still going to attack this Galaria. Ugh. When no really knows how to grind gears. A perfectly good art gallery opening and he has to hold it late in the night. Now I'm stuck here waiting waiting for it to finish in the morning. I bet Renel's gonna show us something totally out there, don't you? Why are they all night otherwise? Whatever, I was looking forward to the street art community festival anyway, and they got cancelled for no reason. I've got nowhere else to be. Raynell's taking this joke too far. Keeping the concrete details of this opening ceremony secret even from high-level partners like us. Huff. I suppose playing to the gallery is his literal job. You think a joke? You think of a joke that manages to drive over half of Terra's art investors scrambling to our Bunker Hill City HQ the way they have for the gallery Chris that word and then I'll hear you whine. Yes, sir. This Casimir is a noble on the brochure. I wonder if his salon really will get a painting or two of mine sold. This isn't the fun, yeah. It's all of your story, whether or not it is enough to exile the investors. Didn't you say to leave all that work to you? I kept telling you, dye your hair, learn some profanity, dress in tidy clothes, call yourself a rebel against the run system of nobility and they'll eat it all right up. But you won't do any of that. So what can I even say? I'll give you one last tip. It can't beat a rebel spirit, but there's people who still like the down and out noble as a cell. Whether or not it's enough to get the investor stirring all comes down to you. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. Our opening ceremony is about to commence. Repeat, ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. Our, our opening ceremony is about to commence. When I'll sort us up to the podium erected in the gallery's front plaza. He calmly surveys the car before him a few times, especially the ones in seats closest to him. He confirms to himself that all expected have shown up and then clears his throat. <coughs> Everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Please take your pick, depending on when you usually sleep. Thank you to everyone who applauded, and thank you for, to those who didn't. You have, after all, sacrificed your own precious sleep hours to admire this magnificent dawn with me here in the city of two suns. Humph. Thank you for your warm welcome. Thank you for joining me as together we make history a small part of it for sure and possibly of no note to ages far from now but to all of you here it will be one you remember for the rest of your lives what a smooth dogger isn't this casimir's Oh, it looks like Casimir's. <laughs> God save Bolivar and God save the Solus. Our tourists fork out money with their brains full of air. <laughs> Damn, dude. What fucking song is this? And the future of this city is one and same. Hermano, you need some fresh lyrics. Let me accompany for you. I'll write you something a bit more topical. God save the coalition and God save Kowalski. The army brass gets in bed with all of our slumming millionaires. On the night when the freak nightmare piece comes to play. Okay. Everyone, welcome to the Solus and welcome to Galeria Cruz. That word. Before we get to the main course, I'd like to introduce you all to this event that makes a new age. Marks a new age. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure not all of you are for the Galleria or for the opening ceremony. I'm sure a lot of you are sitting there thinking this is just some false antic by a Casimirian failson. 
You will probably care more for something lucrative, so I have it laid out here before you to satisfy your curiosity and greed. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring out your personal terminals and raise them high in the air. You can claim yourselves individuals of refined and discerning taste. You keep up with the trends. Portable terminals and invention to stand with the greats. An escape for people from the guild of wasted time, bringing news to every corner of the city, connecting them all together as one. And it's on this rich future vein I'm willing to build an, a drilling platform in the name of art and stuff your waters full with the golden coins and cruise paper bills it gushes forth. God damn, he he has uh, he has charisma with when it comes to talking. Okay. All right. Well, uh, fucking Discord. No, nope, shut up. No, nope, no. Nope. I'm busy. Fuck off. Shh. I'm busy. Anyway. What was I saying? Before I got, got so rudely interrupted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this dude knows how to talk to the greedy, powerful, noble idiots, you know. So, yeah. He's got, definitely gonna lure them in. <laughs> and blow them all to kingdom come. It is with great pomp and circumstance that I introduce you to this groundbreaking invention which will soon make waves throughout the intercity net. The Collector's Virtual Art Piece Project. Uh-huh. Bro, how come I've never seen you before? What are you talking about? I live right upstairs from you. Oh, you have that one guy, uh, Pisto? Yeah, you got it. Didn't you get... Didn't you go to get treated, though? Who cares? Does getting treated give Renel the right to storm into our neighborhood and wreck our shit? Damn straight. How about it? Let's head over to that gallery and throw a real party. Should we go big? <laughs> no, don't we go big. Now you're talking. We can't give a guy like that a single inch. Collector's visual art piece? This is what you did without capital? Ah, uh, think about it. Soon some artists will cease to work in paint and paints and brushes. They'll sit before their terminals creating works for the intercity net that you will be just uh, that you will be just as able to invest in. I can't I can take any painting in the gallery collection, make a one for one copy of it on the intercity net and you'll be able to see it every, it's every detail on your terminals whenever you want. So he's making tablets. He's, he's, he's legit just making tablets. <laughs> uh, hold on. Give me a second here. All right. No one will be able to steal or duplicate the painting. All rights to the virtual artwork will lie with you. Sell it, destroy it. It is all up to you. This is blasphemy against art. What was that? A blasphemy against art? Look at that grizzled, big-bellied investor beside you. If you want blasphemy, well, he's the master. You people don't care what creators conceive or convey. You just want the rights to the interpretation in your greasy grip to easily manipulate prices against market trends. You do the same thing and so does your father. When have I ever tried to claim that Sissipan Kowalski does not blaspheme against art? I know at a glance that the man beside you eagerly Agreeing with everything you say is desperate for you to beg others to blaspheme against his art for only a pretty, pretty penny, isn't he? You're mad. Is arguing with the audience part of his opening ceremony? Look, he made a name for himself as a maverick. You can't deny that, can you? Can you, sir? Hmm. How dull. All he knows is filling with his terminals. Eh. What a surprise this bunch isn't any better hypocrites. And Captain Cowes is ominous clint in the corner of his eye and puts on an expression of indifference before anyone can cotton on to him. Ladies and gentlemen, I am about to present the very first batch of sea vaps in all of Terra. Beneath the podium, the crowd hushes for a spell. They had an ample tape of Raynell zero amenity to reason, but a man without reason is still a man, one who'd naturally want to maintain the privileged life he enjoys. Or to put it another way, he needs money too. 
The issue is the difference, and the difference is that the lay, lay person who besides who abides by the rules makes money in ways everyone can accept and be amicable, uh, amicable while doing it. The unreasonable sort, meanwhile, has a nasty habit of looking down on the rest while churning their cash. True, true. But no matter, as long as the sort still seeks money, the layperson will always find a chance to pick every last scrap of a madman's innards clean. So what should we do? Let's see how this plays out. Let's see what collectibles he can roll out for us. The interest in Nestle isn't enough to sustain a new field of investment, but there's a chance this madman can strike some actual treasure. We've got ways to get what we want, anyhow. Yeah, you're gonna get a big fucking surprise in a second. These pieces brim with the kindness and hospitality and brightness and sheer beauty I've come to feel during my time in the solace. And so they possess the geist of commeration. I think, yeah. One to forever elude comparison. I proudly present to you all El Capitan Molesto. The fuck did he do? That looks like <laughs> this wood up there. How is this worth anything? You are your mind a rich kid with brain rot. It's so it's all over. There's no arts along here. How? Why do I paint for a living? Wait, bro, that virtual art piece that that one, I think Raynell based it on you? Me? And Captain stands himself up, first looking at the terminal in his hand, then at the show screen, and finally at Raynell, whose line of sight meets his. Captain Mateo, in light of how jolly our first meeting was, I have one more gift for you here. You are going to be the model for the first sea bob in the entire history of Terra. Come pick one, I'd be glad to grant it to you, free of charge. All eyes in vain land on El Capitan. He does not immediately respond to Raynal. His first order of business is one more glance at his terminal. And finally he sees the news he's been waiting for this entire time. No need, Senor Raynal, you can keep it for yourself. So sorry everyone, but I have urgent news to announce. Who are you? I am a representative of the Bolivarian coalition government due to Sol Senor. The latest news indicates a terrorist threat targeting the Galleria is imminent. I ask you all to follow my instructions to get to safety. Rival information suggests that the rioters are charging our location at this very moment. Do please follow the soldiers under my command to shelter in the gallery. Vague on the horizon, a notable number of silhouettes seemingly charging for the gallery apparently emerging with a distinct jumble chorus of singing. Come with me, senor. No, I need to find Candela and... Not now. You, grab him. Sir. Let's go right now. Mr. Mateo, you really have furnished my o furnished my opening ceremony with tremendous surprise. Man, I want you to haul him away. Off to his favorite balcony to watch the sunrise. I'll have a talk with him later. Oh, also, remember to make him climb the stairs himself. Status. We've managed to intimidate, sorry, convince the majority to accept our arrangements. We are relocating them to the gallery across that thing. Interior now. There's a few troublemakers unwilling to listen to us, you see. Troublemakers? Once the majority are inside, I want blades against their throats. See if they have the stomach to make trouble then. Sir, what about the street art people? They'll be here in a few minutes. Our plants there have succeeded in instigating them. Now we just wait for them to reach the blast and carry out their atrocities and they'll substantiate the terrorist attack claim. Dawn is coming, no need to hurry. Yeah, there are people. The Galleria is just after the turn there. You can't wait to give Renault a shot. I like it. We'll smash off his gallery and loot every last piece of stupid crap in there. Huh? What's your deal? What? What's my deal? Didn't we say we were gonna go big? When I say go big, I meant we were gonna turn his gallery doorstep into our own art festival and completely flip Renault's opening ceremony. What was your idea of going big? I. Whatever, I'll go scout ahead. 
Techno. What's up? That guy there said he lives above me, but I'm not buying it. Go on. Hmm. What's up? The hogger's jaw drops wide open. He points a finger at the guy in front of the just to turn away. There's a podium there and seats and even jackets left on those seats by the audience. But no, not one person in present. Not a one. Oh shit, here we go. Alright, let's start this uh, second last... Ooh, look at that stage. Second last stage here. Um, let's see. So, we can put some stuff in the middle here. Interesting, interesting. I hope we can put stuff here, because that's a, that's a good lane right there. What do we got? Four in types of enemies? Okay. Well, I guess we just gotta go ahead and do it, you know? Oh boy, I used a lot of money to upgrade all these. This dude, there's four people I had to uh, level up for this event. <laughs> all of my, I had used a lot of my money for this. So I think I'm just gonna go try and farm some stuff and then, yeah, promote them later. I, I don't have, uh, I really don't have the time and stuff for all this. So yeah, let's just begin. So all ceremony attendees are under our control now and Raynell has been secured on his balcony. Good. Uh, reinforcements is in position. 15 trucks are parked outside the gallery perimeter. You don't need me to tell you what to do next. Sir, remember, tell those wassos not to wreck the art as they loaded in the trucks. If anyone damages a single piece, I'll take a finger off them. Watcher. Oh, also, don't forget to confiscate the terminals off of those pampered chests. And any belongings they have on them, I'm assuming we also... Oh, you get it, I like that. I don't care how you handle the people, but the art you use... Uh, fell a touch on that. Go, I still need to see Senor Reynel about something. Good morning, nice view of the sunrise. Sorry, you're too far cultured for that. I should be asking you if it's beautiful, no? Hmm. <laughs> the silent treatment? If you think you're any safer for it, you're gravely mistaken. But let's get on topic, which is that I have no topic for you. All you need to do is sit here, behave, and act like you're a victim of a terror attack. That's what you're casting me as? Oh, look at that. You do have a mouth. Sorry, my fault. I thought you'd see through something or other, but then I thought a little more and no... This is just a coincidental, idiotic concoction of a man blinded by greed. How about that? Upstanding errors a moment ago and now you're starting to lose your temper. No, I have no complaints at all regarding this coincidence. Because I've come to see it for what it is simply the finishing touch of my final creation. And of course, because it was a coincidence and not your intention, I thank Lady Luck before you, Captain. Excellent, now shut up. Sir, sir. What? Intruders? No, actually, it's... We'd better talk inside. Papa, did we get the date wrong or what? Impossible. Look at the scene. A crowd was here just moments ago. Something happened. So someone saw us reported to Reynel and he ran back inside the gallery? This isn't Reynel's MO. Supposing he, he did know we were coming, he might be outraged or excited, but he'd never turn tail and run. So what is this? Huh? A terminal? Is that mine? Hello, Ernesto? Speaking. How's it going? Getting somewhere with your personal business? A letter. Notify the street art people not to go near the gallery at least for today. What? Why? They planted a huge amount of Artinium explosives in there, ready to blow at any time. Artinium what? <laughs> Oleta, I don't like the sound of that laugh. Where are you? M me, Ella, Skang, Techno, Diaz, the artists, everyone's in the plaza in front of the gallery right now. So why don't you get out of there fast? Sorry, bro, but I've got a few questions for you too. Ernesto, why, why are you this clued in? Where are you? Hmm. Cool, get in. Cool, got it. Tell me every last piece of information you have, Ernesto. Oleta. 
else I'm going in to save you. Like, I don't know a damn thing. <laughs> That's cute. Pelotuto. Uh, something like that. I tell you to make sure uh, your men don't wreck the artwork and you proceed to ruin one personally. So just tell me out. Inside that picture I broke, there was a, a an Arginium bomb. A what? And it, it's not even the only one. I spotted a suspicious wall in the stairwell like it was freshly plastered over, which didn't seem right. So you broke the wall down and there were bombs there too? Not bombs, there were detonation control nodes. Which means there's more than one detonator and there could be more explosives than we know. That's what you're casting me as? I thought you'd seen through something or other, but then I thought a little more and no, this is just coincidental idiotic concoction of a man blinded by greed. <sighs> so these things could level the whole gallery and we don't even know how to designate. It could be manual timed. Let's load everything as fast as we can, take the cash of the rich guys and call it here. You are ready to just walk away? The bombs are inside the gallery here. Ready or not, this isn't the question here, sir. If we don't pull this off, we'll be public enemies of the coalition government and the solace. All we have to do is run, they won't catch us. Run where? Into the wilds? Hand a couple of hundred gold certificates to each man in this band? What have we been risking our lives for? No, sir, I'm serious. If worse comes to worse, we can ditch the country as mercenaries or bandits. Bandits? I I'm just supposing. My point is, we don't have to play along with Renell's insanity. Hmm. Fine, I get it. Who else knows of this? Only me. I haven't dared tell anyone else. I was worried the news would panic the men, so I came straight to you. Very well done. Go, tell them they can stop hauling. Clean the suicos downstairs of every last drop of their grease then we evac immediately thank you oh also stop losing your head speak calm walk slow and don't let it seem like a single crack you hear me sort of about traces then breaks into a run for the stairs suddenly comes the sound of a bowstring he has no time to look back before a heavy bow pierces straight through his back and protrudes from his chest My boy, after so much loyalty, so much preparation, so many decisions, so many points of no return, you go off to be a bandit? I lost my chance to turn back. So did you. Oh, fuck, dude. Alright, so he's killing his own men now. A terrorist attack col college? When I set up the bombs, the, the captain took the crowd hostage and neither seemed to know what the other was up to. It's what Ernesto tells me anyway. They're both insane. Yeah, both of them are crazy. We need to prep for the worst case scenario with the hostages prioritized above all else on all accounts. Let's hash out a concrete plan of action. We've got five names to our side. Ayana, Doc, Fuse, Me, and Road Silence Catapult. Count me in two. You sure? Don't forget my past life. Besides, it's not just that Raynell bastard trapped in there and not just the investors either. Many are ordinary folk. I have to go. Papa, don't try talking me out of it. I'm going. Who's talking out? I'm going too. You. You and the others can forget it. It's dangerous in there. Come on, Papa. Think about it. Sure, we've never been firefighters, but otherwise, we're thinking everything you're thinking, no? Guys, listen to me. We're about to rescue everyone in the gallery. This is entirely voluntary. Anyone who's in, step forward and listen to Ela. If you don't want to go, no pressure. Head back to the neighborhood. In case Matteo makes a move on our community and screws us before he's down for good. What do you think? You going? Don't want to die. I'll be real. I'm not going. Think of all the pictures still waiting for me to take him. I kind of want to see those art investors piss their pants in fear. That's tasteless. Tasteless? Pan pissing is no good show. What I want to see is the R. Raynell bot. I thought you'd have to cover off for tickets for, from Raynell to see the goods. But change his things if we're going in to save them anyway. I, I mean, if you're gonna. What are you pulling out? Why? What are you pulling out Renault's pamphlet for? This. Okay, uh, Cause that. That word. Exhibition all two exhibition exhibit fourteen and anon an anonymous Minoan Bart's manuscript from the night before Sarkon 
annexed Minos. How could such a beautiful poem, such a precious manuscript, end up bought by right now? I learned Minoan just for this one poem. I'll recite it for you right now. Don't bother, it's all Minoan to me. Ugh. What the heck are you crying for? When I just think about that bot spirit fate, and then I think about that manuscript, and then I think about me, I just... I just... I'm going is what I am. Even if the bombs blow me up when I see it, it'll be worth it. I have to go. Considering the number of hostages, we can have the majority of our people evac the ones we rescue. Best leave H E H V T suppression and explosive disposal work to us. Catapult is the killer on comms right now. I got him. Mr. Tequila? Miss Ella, don't tell me you're cracking the guy or you're with our letter. It's dangerous in here. We're the ones you hired to deal with this sort of thing, sir. Huh. Catapult says you're trapped in a dark room on the east wing third, third floor of the gallery. And the room is full of explosives. Seeing how lively it is downstairs, there should be plenty of people shut in there, correct? Yes. Are, th are the captain's men in there? Have they noticed the bombs? It should be there, but it's too noisy. I can't quite make anything out. Hold on. Tequila! Two soldiers passed by the dark room entrance just now. They were discussing how to load the art onto their trucks. Good, that's what we'll build our plans around. Oh, nice. Using their own plan against them. Smart. Say, is something this small really gonna blow up whoever's in there? Blowing up the gallery's glass walls is one thing, but we're talking about the warehouse that Matteo used as his command node. Who knows if he has patched what he has pat if he has patched up the walls here? Of course it will. But okay, you are you are repelled outside the second floor, but you're still standing against the wall. Shouldn't you bust the window of, and throw those things in? Did you hear something just now? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's fuse. It's fuse times to shine. Let's fucking go in. Well, except it was five dogs. Three. Who gives a damn if it was three or five? Doesn't matter. We can die of old age holding this bunker if you want. All these idiots in the plaza can do is stand around drooling. Deploy it. Time to pull back. Here comes the cluster charge. Boom! Let's fucking go. There's my fucking thumbnail, dude. Yes! That's... <laughs> dude, the art looks kind of weird here. The explosion, at least. That's a funny-looking explosion. Uh, anyway. <coughs> weird, uh... Word design aside, here we go. Yeah, okay. A string of explosions rings out in the building. Cannibal's jaw hangs slack as she stares at Fuse, about to offer a word of admiration. Fuse shakes his head at her. Don't bother, I know. I, I, don't bother, he knows he's awesome. And then from inside the room, an even more violent explosion. The cluster charge has ignited explosive cash within. Ila, this is Fuse. We should have hostiles from perimeter defense coming out now. Get ready to engage. A catapult. It's about time we move. Don't you think the explosives already would have knocked them out? Never assume your enemy is an idiot, even if he really is. You know, never underestimate your enemy. Incoming, incoming. Are you some kind of genius? Not in a million years. What I have is turning intel synergy with my teammates and just a little pinch of technology. It's that simple. Let's fucking go, dude. Emergency exit. Here we go. Okay, yeah, we can plant uh, everything here. That's good, that's good. Okay, I guess they're going bot main first, since he spawned on the... Yep. This time we guessed correctly. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, you can have this. Bitch. Huh. Okay, yeah. Uh, Try not to get yourselves hurt. 
Yep, I knew it. Oh, we, I don't know if we can even... Okay, yeah, we can't really use his ability here. That sucks. <laughs> Here we go, got some arts damage. And up here we're going to use I got this. Baby Girl. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> we need healing. <coughs> Good thing we got this ready. Actually, no. Let's put. There we go. Put that there. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere, bruh. That's annoying. Okay, kill that. Please. Thank you. You know you're for you. I've got your backs. Ready to go. No, 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 I didn't. fuck, stop. Do you think I have you like it? Kill him. There we go. See? That works. Are they seriously all gonna go up top? What the fuck, man? Save me, Fuse. Save me. If anyone's surprised. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. 
Mic check successful. Ready when you are. Stay out of sight. I've got your backs. Target acquired. Yes. Setting up. An eye for an eye. Senpai to kaiji wa seinen yoku ni shima ni dokute. Kegare wo tsuzu mono. Here's a memento. Jesus Christ, just fucking die! I've got your backs. If anyone needs to stop out. Oh yes, There we go, die! I need I need Arturia help here. Holy fuck, dude! Setting barricade. I need this. For the love of fuck, just fucking die, dude! Here we go. Ah, oh my god! Here we go. Ass damage. <laughs> here we go. Defense on these fuckers. There we go. Fucking die. There we go. Jesus. So much help. Let's see how this ends. Pew, save rep. Clear. Defenders are pretty lazy. Zero got against us storming them, and we didn't give them any time to notify their superiors. Good work. Time to begin the siege. Hey, she said, she said the thing. She said the Rainbow Six Siege. She said, she said the thing. Okay, okay, stop, stop. Chill. Everyone, we have to act quickly. Don't get sloppy and don't give the defenders any time to react. Let's go. Did you hear something out there just now? An explosion? I think so. No way those birds exactly came crashing in. But what? To rescue right now? No more hallucinating catch. This one's come sorry, I need porcelain. Might smash for a single bob. Careful. You almost smashed it along with the entire display case just now. You turn you turn around and tell me. By the way, did not leader break that vase thing and say he was going upstairs to report to El Capitan? How come he's still not bang? Probably still climbing the stairs, just like the first time he came. Oh, he's talking with Capitan about giving these things a home. Maybe they even figured out how much each of them are pocketing. Grenade out! No hostages in the room. Take out the defenders. The hell are you guys? Don't worry about that rapid fire doesn't pack enough punch. I I'm not scared. I just want to find somewhere safe to call for reinforcements. Don't even think about it. Decent shot. Shame your judges is now we're too weak. Took less from that than a slug bite. And how about now? Wait, you're the attackers? You must be crazy to seriously. Of course we're serious. Ela, what's that thing you say? Clear? Nice work, but give us a heads up next time. Duck, Ayanna, keep moving particular directions to the bog of the hostages. Hostage safety is priority one. No rest action in a bad situation. I'll lead the others to sweep the first floor of defenders, then we'll rendezvous with you. Copy. Diaz, Techno, let's go. Diaz? Hmm. <laughs> Look at all this art. Paladins throwing a javelin and Minoan statue. This one's pure gold, gilded animal with some revolving base from Yan. And a manuscript from the great Ursuin author Sergei Katayev. Let me see which one of his it is. A receiver electrifying or in Maya of the Heart. Damn it all, this is the one. Renel has it in his collection. Here and Mateo are two kinds of scoundrels. One blowing up, one selling it all. Nothing but... Whatever. We'll leave it to the next guys to sort out. Let's move. Damn. A pulse. 
a pressing pulse. In a deathly silent room there is but a rapidly, incessantly pounding heart and not else, save for. So stay back, I'm not letting you in. You come in and we'll take you with us. Ugh. The, the noise is gone, she's gone. She's just by a scary scene. What was this flick called? Oh, Panic at the Museum de Sancta Slaughter. This one is by that our sarcastic director lives in Co Colombia. I was just about to say, with a title like that, it can only come from fucking Castell. <laughs> oh shit! What a name! What a name! Figures they made a, the building a sanctuary in this one. Then, yeah, true. <laughs> what else would they be? Looks like right now security isn't too busy most of the time. Guess all he can do is sit here watching tapes and fantasizing about. Murders taking place in his gallery. Good for them, though. The way El Capitan sees it, everyone wor worth anything is downstairs moving stuff already. Meanwhile, you got us who don't really care two ways about him, and we get to sit here in a cushy guard duty. There's trouble downstairs. I want a report from anyone who knows what ASAP. Trouble? There's gunfire explosions down there. People on the sixth floor heard it. What's going on with you? Are you blind or deaf? I told you to turn the volume down a little, but now, but no, you wouldn't. Shut up, you. I'll contact downstairs straight away. Oh nope, not getting through. Well, would I be, uh, would I be asking you if I could? I want you to figure out what happened downstairs immediately. If there are troublemakers, flatten them. If they're fighting their way in, I want them out. Getting the art into the trucks is our highest priority. Don't go, Scott. Do a little. Don't. Nobody who goes downstairs ever comes back. That sanctum woman's gone crazy. I saw her kill everyone in a public bathroom, and now she's after our lives. The waves of screams and shrieks emanate from the TV. The seven or eight soldiers in the one cramped surveillance room all look at each other in dismay. <laughs> oh, the vibe is not very good right here, man. They, are, they, they don't want to vibe with this going downstairs thing. <laughs> That's funny. Good news, defenders in the surveillance room haven't noticed our drones. Most hostages inside are in shock and it appears the defenders have robbed them too. But at least there are no casualties and the motion seems manageable. Defenders have noticed something's not right downstairs. I assume they reported to their superiors just now. But clearly none of them are willing to leave what must seem like their safe little... Panopticon. What the fuck does that mean? Okay. Good news indeed, you must... You keep monitoring him, I'll contact Ayla. We'll discuss countermeasures. Hey, Gabby, what's going on? What the hell was all the walkers downstairs? I I don't know. Don't know my ass you spent long enough. Quit dawdling. I'm just minding my surroundings. I just got to the stairwell entrance. Your voice is trembling, Hua Wan. What? Did this spooky movie get to you? Ha ha ha. Shut up, Pete. Besides, I don't see you down here. It's always like this. You guys shove everything onto me. Huh? Gabby? Gabby? No, we can't let anyone else go downstairs. Weren't you watching in the surveillance room? That Santa madwoman didn't even have to touch her. She just unloaded onto the receiver when Scardulo picked up and turned her into a pile of... of Sorry, begins. What's the situation? Have you figured it out? So we sent a man on recon and he just suddenly stopped responding. You used the sex. So sir, how about you send someone else to the first floor? We, we really can't spare a single man. No response means you keep sending people down or I stop the second floor to shoot you all. Or I stop on the second floor to shoot you all there before heading down there myself. Damn, he mad. Nobody move, out. Phew, empty. Every scout. We've sent has gone missing one by one. Maybe the first floor is ha haunted. What an imagination you have. Get a little sleep for now. Who the? Nice. <laughs> hey, Ramon. Ramon, you, you gotta say something. Dropped again. That's that's the fourth one. Four times four men. Every time, as soon as they get downstairs, they just. No one picks up that sentence. The terminals. Have all been tossed into one corner of the room. On occasion, the indistinct bellows of El Capitan emanate from the pile, but nobody is giving them a response anymore. 
Maybe it's because they w went one at a time, so we were just feeding them one by one, too. So how many do you want to do each time? Um, the Sanctum Map Woman. Her mind's not right. She's a homeless out maniac. She, she's outside the door. She's smiling at us through the access surveillance cam. Mayo, just hang up the intercom. She can't get in. She's pointing her gun at me. She, she's pulling the trigger. All she can do is wreck the cam. Just calm down. What the? Mayo dead? Is that a bullet hole? Ugh. How about we watch a different tape? The two stare at each other with a slacking gaze for a moment before the one out sort of gets up, travels to another corner of the room and grabs a random tape to shove into the recorder. The art investor here from Casimir's. Let's welcome our guest today, Mr. Raynell Kowalski, the star, the new star of the, of the Sorcerer's Art scene. What did you put on this for? Are you sick? I didn't know they taped the TV to this one. Switch it out, switch it out! Hello, hello, pleased to meet you, new faces, and it's been a whole day, old faces. It's me, your host for this program, Yuri. <laughs> we all know who this is! <laughs> That's funny! Eureka, I don't, I don't do this, but I'm begging you, switch it again. Listening to this presenter makes my brain hurt. These free tapes are all we've got. The security guy just watches these free tapes on repeat. What do you find if you open up his brain soup? Today's episode is special for all you tourists that saw this for the first time. The one I sort of firmly points the eject button. Let's just finish watching the movie. You heavenly devils, you. Day of reckoning is come. I'm, I'm warning you, my grandpa's a big deal in Castel. You wouldn't want to see his witchcraft, even in death. <laughs> Don't you laugh so crooked? Ha ha ha, witchcraft! <laughs> when the firmament is filled by sunlight, when all dark, all dark across the land is disappeared without trace. See. Okay. See is that, see that is the twin moons will fall will fall upon you, your KHB cell. The dark will gush into it will go forth into your eyes, and there you will meet your demise. Inhabiting Gemini. Oh, this fucking shot of Diana. Oh my God, shuffling emits from the center of the room. A single soldier binding his lips, shivering head to toe, hands clenched tight, turns his gaze away from the screen and with a shadow over his shoulder. Oh yeah, you can see it's uh, it's her uh, it's her clone. That's also a great um, thumbnail. Anyway, there we go. A single soldier binding his lips, shivering uh, with a shadow over his shoulder. He sees inside the room, out of nowhere, a bizarre woman. He sees that woman's complexion and her hair, both just as pale. He sees that woman point at him with a tremendous firearm, the likes of which he's never seen before. No surveillance cam needed now. Those edge bullets can pierce straight through his heart in an instant. He sees that woman standing there, and yet it is though he, she's somewhere else entirely, as though she doesn't even draw a breath. He sees that woman whose head is crowned by a halo. Don't look back, don't look back, because I might, because I am right behind you. The soldier does look back, let's have a restless whale <laughs> leading the others to nervously follow where his case has gone. There's no such thing as ghosts! Soda senses tell him to shoot landed, but the bolt meets no obstruction as it continues its strategic passion through the woman's body. Just like that, she vanishes, and only the aftermath of the halo above her head still. Yeah! <laughs> So it reports, it's a sector. The enemy is a sector with spatial movements us. She's a homicidal maniac. Her mind's not right. She can shoot people dead through surveillance camps. Ugh. Clear. Clear. I didn't think just turning the lights out when the Gemini got hit would be enough to spread that much panic. Meanwhile, in the TV in the corner of the room, the sector continues the silver screen massacre. Kill, 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 kill! I'll cut off your horns and hang them as chimes upon the ladder in itself. Sir, 
Cyber Psycho. If you played Cyberpunk, you'll understand what that is. Anyway, thank you all so much. If you're after anything in terms of art investments, please be sure to let me... Stop wasting breath. Beat those feet. Right, right. Huh? Who's that you're carrying? He got beat up for resisting. He's still concussed. First day, if I gave him a right. Well, nice to see some tough stuff among these guys. By the way, you're in an exhibition hall. Two of the gallery right now. Did you get to see that manuscript you wanted? Ugh, completely forgot about that. Evacuating all these people. Manuscript? I mean, no one bots. Perfect says it's the highlight of the collection for Hall 2. Know where it is? I caught sight of it just now. It's on the other end of the hall. I can take you over if you'd like. Lead the way then. So you can put me down now. You're concussed, aren't you? Just point the way. It'll be faster. <laughs> you really want that fucking uh, pamphlet. This manuscript thing. Mm. Evac of Hall hostages almost complete. Things went smoothly thanks to your Gemini replicator. I didn't know we'd get a break that lucky. It was just meant to be bait, that's all. I, w I was expecting they'd unload all their firepower on the replicate on the replicate like the community people did. All I can say is that it took off a good position and those defenders chose a good movie to pass the time. <laughs> yes, we're back to the funny. Ah, oh, hell yeah, I love this. <laughs> oh god, this is so good. Defenders outside the gallery, gallery are all swept up now. What do we do next? Head to the third floor and rescue Ernesto? Wait up. You're that, uh, that, whatever. You can't go any further that way. What happened? Oh, Mr. Milos. Not with Reynald after all, then. No. Situation is urgent. Tell us anything surplus after the fact. You need to leave the gallery ASAP. You're not going to interrogate me for any useful information? We're out of time for that. I want to make a deal. I'll give you some information, and I'm hoping that after you have this information, we can rescue Reynald. Yes. Mr. Milos, if Reynald hadn't set up the bomb, this terrorist attack may never have come to fruition in the first place. Reynald couldn't wire the Galleria with bombs on his own. He suggested the idea, that's all. I imagine you know who carried the deed out. I know the timing on the bombs and how to most if if how to most efficiently disarm them. And that's how you plan to coerce us? How could I? You aren't the type to suffer coercion. I'm just hoping my readiness to cooperate can pull together a lifeline for him. Alright, tell us what you know then. The time bomb set off to go up this morning at 10, p 10 a.m. If you want to stop them, you need to take care of the four nodes along the detonator line. One of the four is in the basement, one's in the dark room on the third floor, one's on the balcony on the sixth floor, and one is in the ventilation shaft in Raynell's own office. So it's almost through. The one in the basement is most complicated. I suggest one of you go there with me I will good techno take the others keep searching for any more places where hostages might be hiding DS catapult you handle one of each third uh, uh, on sixth floor notes duck Ayana and I will keep heading for the top we'll buy more time to disarm the penthouse note the third floor docks was relatively hard to find it's right above this hall effectively but getting there is a nightmare I need a pen and paper to draw a quick map of the route no need. I'll take it. Ernesto! Leave the dark room to me and a letter. The sixth floor note is in the stairwell. There's a wall that'll look suspicious and be very easy to break down. Leave that to me. Nice! They got a plan! They got a plan! Let's go! Phew, I'm finally here! And it's just you two left, so how do you feel seeing the manuscript? Uh, wait, why are you carrying him now? Uh, as soon as he saw the manuscript, he cried so hard he couldn't even breathe and eventually passed out from his tears. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! A bit of an overreaction, don't you think? It was all I could do uh, <laughs> to bury him on my back instead. He passed out? Doc, Doc, we need you. Someone's faded here. He's fine. He just cried himself out. His emotions slightly overwhelmed him upon seeing the manuscript of his dreams. Let him rest for a while in fresh air and he'll be fine. I if you say so. Miss Ella. That's every card off my sleeve. It's all yours now. Noted. What happens if we fail? What if we aren't able to rescue him? In that case, I'll stay behind and keep him company. Oh. I hope you can save the others before then, Miss Ella. I don't want any more people than necessary in here. Damn. 
He's really fucking devoted to helping right now. Got to admire his loyalty, I guess. While I pulled the metal casing off, inside there's a total of... Minus you crack, but there's 12 whole bomb wires here. What? The one in the basement has over 40 connections? Holy shit. Whatever, I'll sell this later. Right now, I just need to DIY one by one, right? Yeah, yeah, got it. Unscrew as fast as possible. Have connected states. Can send the explosive one way easy. Understood. Hey, how's things on your side? Small band of resistance on the fourth floor still? Wow. He has stops talking, wipes the sweat off his forehead, and focuses on dealing with the chaotic nest of wires at hand. He has to decouple fast and unscrew the connectors right after using an insulator to cover up the naked wires and avoid any short circuits. In a trance, he stays with the sinker's army float through his mind, where his job was always to secure the connectors in. Diaz follows his brow and smacks his left hands, never stopping. What happened then has nothing to do with now. Now he's no more than a firefighter in the middle of a bomb disposal. Wires are more or less decoupled by now, just two left, and all the risk of explosion in this area is gone. He's gotten a handle of how to most quickly twist these connectors off. Push them to push down for the first half, spin slow it, then start turning with all his might for the second half until it's off. He counts down the rotations on the second connector. Now just seven, six, five. Seuss that old man. Two of uh, Carrington's men charge for the old firefighter with sabers in hand, while three crossbows are poised on the floor above. The old firefighter has freeze the moment upon the connector, and for a spell he's somehow not sure if he's meant to twist one way or the other. Oh fuck 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 no 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 Oh no you can't No you can't leave it like that Bro what the fuck Oh that's cruel Dude I was Dude I was laser focused on that Jesus Okay Well We're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to see that I guess Fuck man that, that ending was cruel Pure misery Alright well If you enjoy if you enjoyed to, today's long uh, long video do leave a like, comments, and uh, if you have any stories about the ending of this uh, of this event drawing near, do leave a comment. Always fun to see more comments. And uh, yeah, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, do subscribe, comments. Always very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to finish this. So much hype, much hype indeed. Have a good one, comrades. I will see you tomorrow. Das Vidanya.